log in to your track and quiz so using your id and password so once you have been logged in just click on transaction and select the pickup module in the first step we need to do the pickup registration so for doing pickup registration so we need to enter the dp code so once you have entered the dp code you need to enter the contact details means pickup contact details like who is the person who will give the pickup to us so enter this name and this address so once you have been entered the both of the things you need to enter the pin code so basically you need to enter the pickup pin code so based on the pickup pin code so map hub ct and state will be auto fetched so finally you need to enter the mobile number so before save we need to enter approx right so and click on save so pickup will be uploaded and displayed in the dashboard so just copy that code number it will be visible in your dashboard also as well as the pickup branch dashboard means whichever the pin code is mapped to that particular branch also can be able to see this pickups so in today's request you can in step 2 so the respective branches need to log in to the bliss and the process remains same they need to go to the transactions and pick up module so on they can click on the dashboards so in the dashboard they can go through the today's pick up and the status will be like pending uh, assigned pending so just we are clicking on dashboard now so click on the request so Uh, next step will be the branch user or branch manager need to assign the pickup. So you need to just click on that assign the click on the assign button. So all the details will be fetched by the pickup order. So they need to select pickup to buy franchise or self branch. If we select self branch, all the branch users will be displayed over there. If we click on franchise, franchise user. So on that click on assign. So once you assign, it will be. process will be completed so you can just go to the dashboard and you can see that what is so you can see that in action the status has been changed like it's pending for status now means it's pending for pickup execution pickup cancelled or pickup uh, failed so this three activities need to be done so So now I just click on that pickup update. We need to enter the AWB number. So there is a two process also. From here also you can just click on the status. So you can just enter the AWB number over here. So once we enter that AWB number and just click on uh, delivery pin code tab and enter the pin code. so delivery city will be taken from the masters so on we have the pick up status successful failed or cancelled so uh, without entering the delivery pin code it will not take so at least if you enter one con so we will treat the pick up as been successful only to, uh, once you enter the pin code you need to just click on enter so if you it will be submitted so <laughs> so we need to check the how to we need to do for failed and cancel and all so i just log out from this user so and i will log in with my user so where i have a multiple users so please note so we can so if you want to update the pickup so branch users can also do otherwise whoever has been raised a request they can also do this so i'm just log in again the same yeah again so see without assigning we can't update the status so i just assigning the assigning to any one of the branch user now so i know that i need to enter the uh, this thing a pick up and all so i just click on assign now i am again going to dashboard 
so i can just click on the status bar so i just select file now yeah so i need to send uh, select the uh, reason also so if you directly go and update it will not take in the awb number column so we need to enter the reason so by going above in the aw awb number tab and we need to enter the reason so note this will be uh, a current process so in this update we will be removing this so we can make that remark as a mandatory not an awb number You can just enter as a not pick up right now. And click on update. So you can just go to dashboard again and see that the status will be changed to failed. So same thing also for cancel. So the So if it is not updated in the today's request, so if it is the yesterday's pickup and all, so it will be coming under the unassigned bucket. So total unassigned, it is the previous test. Basically, it will be coming both the tests. So overall, we will get to see the total unassigned. So that from there also, we can go and assign and do the other activities. So basically, today's request is on priority because it is the fresh pickups so that uh, it has been they need to do and they need to assign that things and all. So on assign also same thing. Status pending. I mean, if it is assigned today, but they're not updated again, it will be moved to status pending tab for next day. Then there also you can go and update the status and all. So basically there is one more column as in total pending, which means uh, total unassigned plus status pending. So both together will coming in the, the total pending screen. So if you want to see all the pickups at a time, you can go and see there.